Hi, Cybertruce here, Baffler, and Cyber Enterprise New Game Plus S Plus video, episode 145, and it's just been like five minutes since last, last episode, and I can gain two Ghost Sleep Particles. I'm actually not that far off from three, but I don't really need three. So, here it is 0.9 Ghost Sleep Particles per day. It's almost one per day. And we are going to get two more Brave Milestones, and we are going to be going for three Quantumed. So, this means that we can only quantum three times, which is going to be a little bit rough. So, yeah, but these these milestones are really going to help because I'm going to start with up to the sixth Emperor Dimensions. So, yeah, here we go. Ghostify one more time, and yeah, we also unlocked a Neutrino upgrade. Um, let's see what that is. Cost two billion. Disable remote antimatter galaxy scaling. That that sounds like utterly overpowered. Like that's like like you you know what's gonna happen with that? I have no idea. But I can gain five times more neutrinos. This this um this cost increase is like four times. It's interesting. I, I do know that neutrinos um are sur surpass ghostly particles even a lot later on. So, actually, what I'm going to do here is, of course, I'm going to go back into, I'm going to just go into my regular build, because I need to to do that before, like, anything tree decay. And then I need to start dilating, of course, and I really, really need to be careful with the quantums. I can't, I can't just quantum out of the blue. And I, I can do this, which is cool. Like, like the initial amount of quarks you get without any quantums is is pretty crucial. Like it's it's essentially a quantum worth of quarks, or not quite, but it's like it's pretty close. And uh, let's let's see what neutrino I get. Okay, I'm getting tau neutrinos because I, if I can get electron neutrinos, that would be very useful in helping like this. So yeah, we're 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 doing pretty well. We can get. We can get a Google Quarks without even, without much trouble here, without just, without a single quantum. So what I'm going to need to do, I'm going to need to get, at the very least, enough quarks for Tree of Decay within three quantums. That's like the absolute minimum I'm going to need to be able to do this in this Ghostify. So, and this may mean I, I may not actually get the last... I may not get eight levels of that of the thing in Tree of Decay, if, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm also, it's going to be a lot harder to get Nano Field rewards. Like, yes, I do start with the Prions, but it, it's it's just going to take a, a bit. I it's gonna, This is definitely going to be quite the challenge. I may not even get it in three Ghost of Eyes. I may have to settle for four or five, which is still okay, especially four. Because that starts me with 16 nanofield rewards, and that that could that that really is powerful. This is okay. This is really good. So, and this is even better because it eliminates the tree of decay grind and it makes tree of decay fa faster. So yeah, that's what that does. I can get. Oh, I thought there was a formula upgrade. I got. No, there's not. Maybe this. Maybe this is a good time to start gaining quarks or to do the first quantum because it puts me in okay amount of quarks I mean it's not the greatest but it's something it, it'll help me help set me up for the next quantums like I don't think there's really much else I can do to speed this up so I know there's, okay so it looks like I'm, I'm gonna quantum at about e216 it looks like there's a meta boost which could help a little bit yeah it could help me get roughly one more order of magnitude of quarks. I'm not even sure what, why the quarks are disappearing. They're, they're going into color power. Yeah, they're going to color power. That's why. I could try to wait for this, but it's really not worth it to, to get 5 E56 here. So it looks like this is the point where I'm going to quantum. So it, it'll this will help a little bit. Unfortunately, we're going to need a few more quantums before things start picking up. Still can't do anything in Tree of Decay, and I can grind neutrinos. However, so I, I guess that could be a good, my 
best bet at this point. So, because, because we're getting five times as many of them. So, if we can just get like E8 electron neutrinos, it's, it's, gonna, it's not going to be bad at all. So, yeah, I'm just going to wait for that. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back after a little bit, and I've grinded some neutrinos, not enough for the upgrade, but a good amount of them. It's enough to make these um, boosts pretty powerful. And I can get a decent amount of quarks. I can probably dilate for some tachyon particles. Not as much as I thought I was going to get, but um, it's something. I can also start a nanofield run, but I don't think it's going to do very well. Like, I'm not even going for 16 rewards. If I can just get, like, I'm not even sure, like 12, 13, 14 w rewards, that's, that's sort of what I want. But I don't think I have enough prions for for that. So I'm just going to wait a little bit for that. So I'm going to keep grinding neutrinos. Maybe I'll, I'll do it at a slightly slower interval. So because like if doing it like this, I don't think the prions increases. I mean, it increases, but not as much. And with in the emperor dimensions, definitely not as much like it, like it's, it's only going a little bit. So if I do sort of one, seven, five, if I just do a quarter of a second, um, that could um, could be better for my emperor dimensions. Not gonna give me as many neutrinos, but I mean, actually, let's let's see what happens if we just do this. Um, actually, I don't see much of a difference, so I think the one seven five is okay. That's what I've been doing to just try to grind neutrinos. I know it's not it's not the most exciting thing, but once I once I can get that upgrade, it really does sound like like a game-breaking upgrade it's two billion so it's expensive but it really sounds like something that's just gonna break the game it's also gonna help give me more neutrinos so yes yeah, in a bit okay i'm back after like three days i just didn't have the time to go on my computer out i mean i i had the time but i just didn't go on my computer for some reason and i have e44 prions despite the fact that I only have six Emperor Dimensions. So, it's pretty good to go for Nano Fields. I think I'm first just going to dilate here. Oh yeah, I'm grinding Neutrinos. I've actually grinded a lot of Neutrinos. I'm up to 1.13 billion uh, Electron Neutrinos. So it's almost enough to get um, to, to get this. Not not quite. It's, I'm like two-thirds of the way in total. I, I wonder if just doing this is going to like... Yeah, it's going to really increase my eternity points before I even go on any nano field run. And what I can do, I'm just going to do the enter trick on this so I can speed up the rate that this grows just a little bit because this it is painful just to get the first, just, just, like the rate that this grows. It's just because these auto buyers only activate once every second. We, we, we need these auto buyers to act faster than that, but whatever. I guess I can dilate again because I got a triple amount of tachyon particles gained from that. But anyway, we're actually going up a, a lot of prions, but we're just going to go into a nanofield build. It's all we really need, need to do. And then just go and let's do a nanofield run. And I think we're just going to, we're really going to, yeah, we're going to get, okay. It's not as fast as I actually thought it was going to be. Um, it's, it's not. It's not the greatest. I am getting I'm up to 10 pretty fast. After 10, yeah, I think e, since it's only E44, it's not as good as it might have been. I mean, it's it's okay. I don't even need to get 16 rewards. Like, honestly, like, this is... I don't really need some of these, but I, I they just help. Like, I'm, I'm up to the point where I can get... E three oh eight, or more like E yeah, three oh eight, or more than that. It's just just enough that I can get achieve the K going by next quantum because we're gonna, we're trying to do this in three quantums. So having it happen like this is is pretty good. It's, it's yeah. So and we're up to twelve rewards. Yeah, I think we're gonna get sixteen just because we're not gonna get any more than that. But that's fine. So I'm just gonna wait. 
for this to in increase like off off camera because I mean I'm getting a 16 but it's not gonna be like, super quick so yeah seen a bit okay I'm back one day later and I've actually been grinding some more neutrinos I have 17 rewards it's about where I expected to end up I mean it's it's not really not really getting much because I've just been neutrino grinding I'm getting pretty close to disabling the remote antimatter galaxy scaling but I, I think if we actually just yeah this will give us more eternity points maybe we can even go out of a nano field build into a more general production build so yeah the the very extremely high <laughs> yeah my grammar is is amazing so yeah, E one hundred fifty four tachyon particles. That's about jumping five orders of magnitude right there. So that could really help, just like production of quarks. It's right now E three sixty seven. It's possible I can get even farther, especially if this goes way beyond. Yeah, look at this. I'm gonna be getting a lot of orders of magnitude of quarks here, and I'm, the dilated time is also very close to. There's a triple amount of tachyon particles gained here, and then there's a formula upgrade just beyond. So, it's pretty exciting to to get there. I th I think I mean this I this is like where the next quantum is gonna be. I'm, it, the thing is, it just takes a while for the dilated time to. I really want to get this formula upgrade before that, and and then just dilate time one more time. That's gonna like. Give me up to the e, get me up to the E one fifty seven range for tachyon particles. So this reminds me of episode ninety seven, which was almost fifty episodes ago. That is crazy. I think that's more like twenty episodes ago. No, it's fifty. I mean, technically it's forty eight, but that's close enough to fifty that it feels like fifty. So yeah, we're just we, we yeah we're pulling similar strats. Um, yeah, E157 to E157. So that's that may or may not give me a a boost in my quarks. And since the quantums are so limited, actually I can do this. I didn't even see this. Yeah, that's that that's a 64 times increase in my quarks right there. Glad I checked that. And eternity points are gonna go up. Yeah, give me I guess doing this, I guess it gave me around like triple the quarks. I mean, it's not all that much. I mean, it's going to be more when we start going into the Tree of Decay stuff. Especially when we get that Disables Remote Antimatter Galaxy Scaling. That, yeah, that, that's going to be OP. So we're just going to Quantum here. E381 is pretty good. And it's enough that we can we can gain Unstable Quarks. So that's, yeah, that, that's pre it's pretty important to be able to gain Unstable Quarks. I'm just going to change up my Autobainer Ghosts and also change up my my build here. I'm gonna change it to um, the Tree of the K build. I'm gonna hold U, of course. Of course, I'm holding the U key. And yeah, I, I'm actually, there's one more thing. Okay, I, I need to actually use these gluons and get this and also use, go into this. Because I can get eighth emperor dimensions at this point, so that's going. To, it's going to be, yeah, it's, it's substantial. Because now we get more nano field rewards if we wanted to. And the last thing is, I've I've heard that you can actually use this um, auto unstabilize rotate, and I'm not I'm not sure if it's the best because I can I can do that and then I can just I can do that combine with one of these or I could just do this and I, I think this is better but just for now like I'm, I'm already gonna get the first I already have the first few of these I'm not already going to get them I already have some of these so I mean actually maybe it would be better to do that but I, I can't fully automate it I, I can get tree upgrades or branch upgrades that way how about this? Actually, I'm going to do this. This is, this is what I'm going to be doing for next episode. I'm going to do this and this um, on a branch upgrade, not tree upgrade. 
And I guess I can also focus on one of the branches, so red. Um, oh, I, I, that's how that works. I, I doesn't activate until I actually do one of these. So, yeah, I'm gonna grind, I'm also gonna grind neutrinos for next episode, which means we're gonna turn this back on. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.